poco. Hay que ir con, si lo hago con uno, si lo hago con uno pequeñito, mamita, amanezco pintando. El pequeñito lo tengo. Hoy, hoy no va a ser clase chica de color café. ¿Ah? Hoy no va a ser clase de inglés, sino que de arte. Vamos a hacer art class. Algún bueno. día terminaré. Y como buena colombiana, mamita, todo para última hora. Yeah. Listo. Y que mira, se demora un montón en secarse. Sí. Ay, Señor Jesucristo crucificado. Dale, pues yo seguiré en mi oficio de...
Hello, my dear friends. I'm sorry, I have like this. Okay, hello. How are you doing? Come on, Nice um Monday. When lunes? I hope so. Um, hello, Carlos. How was your Monday? Come on, tu lunes. Um, so, so, yes, I know, my friend. Mondays are kind of difficult. So, yes. tanto difícil, yes. Yes. Like, kind of difficult. So, well, and here we have also Wendy. Hello. Good evening, Wendy. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Good? Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling good. Okay, you're feeling good. Okay, that's nice. And, well, um, we're going to continue with the some topics uh, from the, the, the last class. So let me show you here. Well, Carito, uh, I can see that you are kind of busy. Está un poquito ocupada. Hello, teacher. How are you? What are you doing? Hello. Like handscraft, manualidades? Uh, Saturn. I'm preparing the science fair for my, for my daughter. But I'm finished for now. Okay, you're finishing. Okay. For That's now. nice. Yeah, but, For yeah. now. Okay. So, um, well, nice to see you all. Te gusto verlos a todos nuevamente. Um, let me see. We are on. Well, the topic, today's topic is um, how to write formal email. Okay. The, I guess this is like a very useful topic uh something that we can learn a lot about it and remember that we are about to finish i mean and uh, this is the class number 13 after this class we will have just uh, seven classes okay solo siete classes así que ya casi vamos a estar pues por finalizar well um before uh, we continue and to start talking about mails there is like a very, well, a brief question, short question. How often do you send or receive mails? So it is like, um, you can say once a week, okay? Or once a day, twice, okay? And we can say like uh, three times, Okay, and we can say a day, a week, because I don't, I don't think uh, we, 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 we receive like uh, one or two mails per month. Okay, that's impossible because we have like notifications about things that we have to do. For example, some memos, some meetings. Um, we have some, uh, well, a lot of things. Now it is like very formal way to 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 remember to remind recordar remind como recordarle a alguien okay remind and the other is remember okay remember es cuando ustedes recuerdan alguna anécdota I remember when I was eh, eh, recordar verdad en cambio remind es como un recordatorio okay so that said, so remember, I remember when I was a kid, recuerdo cuando era un niño, okay? I remember my first teacher, right? But remind es cuando quieren que alguien le recuerde. Please remind me, por favor, recuérdame. Perdón, como la canción de Coco, but remind me the memo, the meeting, remind me about the report, recuérdame. O sea, hazme ese recordatorio del reporte que tengo que enviar, okay? So that's it, it's part of this vocabulary. So the question is, how often do you send or receive mails? So you can tell me once a day or twice a day, so three times or more than three times, like four times, five times a day, okay? You can say it like, like, like this. Let me check something. Well, what about Wendy? How often do you send or receive emails i receive the five five times a day. a day wow yes, yes so you work a I little have, bit maze right yes teacher i have a three 
Sí. Email cuentas. Account. Account. Um, check every day. Oh, you have to check in the in, morning. In, in the, the morning. After. And you know, you know, when you have some, well, like two or three or four accounts, something difficult is to, you have to remind yourself to check it, to change, because we are accustomed to have one account. Tenemos una cuenta. And we receive notifications. But what about the second? What about the third? And you have your personal, you have your professional mail, right? Or the company mail. Personal, my personal and my, uh, this my work, the other. And the other, of I course, don't... the other you have. Okay, mm -hmm. I understand you, Wendy. It is something necessary, but sometimes it is like, like a, hmm, it is not that right because you have to be checking, okay? Thank you, Wendy. What about Carito and then Luis? How often? Teacher, more than 10 times what? a day. Sorry, more than 10. More, more than 10, yes. Uh, giving and receiving. Yeah, definitely that's, uh, well, males uh, <clears throat> are like part of your daily job, right? Yeah, totally. It's like you can't uh, do your job without it. You need it, right? I, yes, I need, uh -huh. I need the, it. And, and Carito mentioned something really important. It is um, receiving and sending. Because sometimes we receive notifications. Yeah, that's okay. And, and you you can write on your agenda or your schedule. And well, I, we have to do things. Sometimes we send reports. We send some, some charts, some statistics and so on. Thank you, uh, Carito. Luis, and then we go with uh, Yvette. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. And, re and receive and send emails daily, diariamente. No sé cómo se dice. Daily, daily yes. diariamente. Yes. Daily. But how many times a day? Four times, five times? I mean, it is a lot of mail similar to Carito and Wendy? Yes, yes, similar. Okay. Maybe mm -hmm. you don't have a specific number, right? It's like you have to do a lot to send and receive a lot. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Yvette and Carlos. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello there. Uh, pregunta, how often do you mm -hmm. send or receive? Um, every day. Okay, every day. Okay, thank you. Um, Carlos and Gabriel. Okay, teacher. Receiving and, and send as, um, and daily. I receiving about in the unos ten a, a day. And send about in say, six a day. Okay, okay. Six a day. Okay, like a different number. Mm -hmm. Then a specific number and receiving another different number. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Gabriel and then Wilfredo. What about you, Gabriel? Hello, teacher. Um, okay. Uh, I check them every hour. Uh, oh, only wow. the most important. Uh, okay. That's another point. You check your mail every hour. Because you can have oh. some a, a, a lot of mails in there, right? Well, that's another uh, uh, specific uh, specific information. Thank you, Gabriel. We go now with Wilfredo and then Kenny. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hey, uh, I'm saying my uh, weekend. I'm sorry. Could you repeat, please? Uh, my uh, uh, weekend. Okay, mainly on the weekend. Kenya and then Mardo. Eh, Kenya, te escucho muy suave el, el audio. Eh, no, se escucha lejos. Intenta nuevamente. Siempre se escucha bajo. Eh, Wendy, escucha bajo. O lo escucha, escucha bien a Kenny. No, no se escucha, se escucha bajo. lejos. Te escuchas muy lejos, Kenny. Solo 
problemas con los audífonos. Eh, Desconéctalos y conéctalos nuevamente. Es, te escucha un poquito más fuerte, un poquito. Un poquito. Su, su, subí Ahora el volumen. Sí. No, ya le subí todo el volumen. Hoy sí, hoy sí, ya, ya se escucha más aceptable. Thank you, Kenia. Bueno, ok. okay. I, eh, I sent it the it the times a mod and receive you mail every day. Ok, you receive. You send and receive every day. Okay, thank you. Really good. And we go now with Mardo. And after Mardo, we go with um, Nina. Okay, I receive emails three times a week. Okay, good, three times a week. Good, and we go now with Nina. And then uh, Duran. Okay, I receive uh, and send uh, more or less five emails for, for day. Per day. Mm -hmm. Per Good. day. Yeah. Yes. Per day. Well, it is interesting because you already know like the specific number. That's, that's better because you can control it, right? Good. Thank yes. you. Nice. Duran, are you there? Yes, you sure. I'll... We received the okay. Like email today. Okay, like yes. My, okay. Because my boss in, in, in Honduras. Okay, so that's in, why. In Honduras. Yes, you need, you need to be contacting him, okay, by mail. Thank you. Okay, what about Steffi? Hello, Steffi, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, receive every day. Okay, you receive every day. Okay, how many? Como cuantos? Okay, let's say many. Okay, many males. Okay, and Claudia, are you there, Claudia? Or are you busy? Are you moving? Maybe you're traveling. Okay, I guess Cloud is kind of uh, busy. Well, here we have this um, useful verbs, like very simple, simple verbs, but necessary. Here we have add, not to add, solo add. Um, update, up, update, and we have share, search, and download, download, okay? So when you say add, you can add something. It can be applied for cooking. Puede ser aplicado para la cocina. Add some salt, add some garlic, or you can use add for, for, a budget, para un presupuesto. You can add some accounts, puedes eh, suma, agregar algunas cuentas or some, or some specific material that maybe you need. Eh, update, and update, it is a word that we use for internet, for programs, software programs. And also you can update yourself as a professional or as a employee. For example, when you go to workshops, you go to seminars. So you update yourself about the, the knowledge, acerca del conocimiento que tú tienes, the background, verdad, todo lo, lo, lo que has aprendido. Share. Share is another verb that we can use in Facebook, for example. You share some posts. A veces se, se comparte algunas publicaciones. But also you can share your food. Puedes compartir tu comida. You share your experience. Si se dan cuenta, uh, casi I simply utilize esa palabra, okay? So share your experience, share um, about your anecdote. So that's it. Download, download is descargar, and this is mainly used for some some files, algunos archivos. You can download 
files, you can download music, videos, photographs, and others. And search. Search is, uh, significa buscar, but mainly search information. Se busca eh, información. Para buscar otras cosas, puede decir look for. But you search in Google, for example, you search in some files, some reports, and any specific information that you want. Okay. If you want to take notes, it's okay. I'm going to check the attendance list so you can tell me if you are there. If you listen to your name, say hello or hi, please. Okay, we start with Carlos. Hello. Hello, teacher. Thanks, Carito. Hello, teacher. Hello. Edwin, no. Ellie, uh -uh. let me see. Okay, Steffi. Hello. Hello there, Evelyn. Do you have Evelyn? Hello, teacher. Hi, Gabriel. Hello, teacher. Nice. Duran. Hello, teacher. Good, Yvette. Hello, teacher. Nice, Kenya. Teacher. Hi, um, Luis. Hello, teacher. Mardo. I'm here, teacher. You're there. Oscar, I don't know if. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Nina. Hello, teacher. Nice, Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Okay, Claudia and. Uh... Hello, teacher. Hello. Good. Hello, Claudia and Wendy. Present. Perfect. So, um, something that we were studying, well, Es casi, casi trabajamos con esto. Let me see. Mm -hmm. We were with this. Había algo que no pudimos trabajar. Ok. Ok. Should es lo que eh, habíamos, eh, lo que les había comentado. Should eh, se utiliza para alguna sugerencia. It's an advice, una sugerencia, right? Eh, estuvimos trabajando eso, let me see, aquí, okay, so you remember, eh, the expectation of the workers, las expectativas de los trabajadores, eh, what are some great behaviors, comportamientos como pesados, negativos, okay, so you can use should to give advice, para dar consejo, sí, te sugiero esto, te aconsejo que no, okay, so um, in this case, here we have this, uh, the guard, no guard, guard, la U is silent. The guard should answer every morning with greeting y todo eso. The sh Linda should greet, debería saludar, okay. Um, Darío should not use many emojis in his emails. Darío no debería usar emojis en sus eh, correos. So here we have this activity. Provide suggestion. Provee una sugerencia about the next situation at work. Okay, so here we have, uh, I need you to help me reading. So we start with um, Luis. Can you read um, like um, context number one, el contexto número uno, okay? Okay, teacher. Um, Peter is the new supervisor. She likes to give orders he never says, please. Oh, perfect. He never says, okay? Aunque también podemos decir, he never says. Mm -hmm. He never says, please. Imagine you have like a, a boss, supervisor, and that person is like ordering, like if you were a soldier. So, okay, Luis, do this, do this now, okay? But he never says, please. So that's kind of problem of, uh, because he's not polite, no es amable. Mm -hmm. What's your recommendation to Peter? Um, uh -huh. ¿Cuál de estos dos? Peter should say please when he asks for something. He asks for something, yes. So Peter should, should. Mm -hmm. Recordemos que aquí se dice should. Yes. Should. Okay, Peter should like this. S should say please, perfect. Okay. So now here we have um, 
Uh, Mardo, can you help me with number two? And then Carito with number three. Can you read it, please? When, when Carl is hungry or things are not as he expert, he shouts. He shouts. Shout. Okay. Shout. When Carl when Carl is angry. Okay, con está enojado. Okay. He shouts. El grita. Wow. So can you imagine a person who gets mad? Como que se loca, se enoja. Okay. When you say um, car gets mad. Get mad is alocarse, enojarse. So he shouts, what's your recommendation for car, Mardo? Car should not. Should, aquí lo puse, Mardo. Should, Sabe, should, should. not. Should not. Uh, shoot. Uh, shout. Mm -hmm. Okay, shout. car Sorry. should not shout. Sorry. Or mm -hmm. yes, that's one. Another could it be car should should act like uh, politely. Debería actuar amablemente. And there are a lot of uh, advice that we can use for car. Thank you, Carito. Next, my assistant. And uh, we have number four. Number four, I will need um, Wendy's help. Okay, my assistant never uses a sal salutation in her emails. Yes. So uh, my assistant should use a salutation in her emails. Yes. Uh, when you, we say salutation, it's like uh, saludos cordiales, uh, let's say éxitos, que tenga un buen día, it's like greeting in a formal way, como saludar de oh. una manera formal. But, el, el típico saludos cordiales, right. That's it, but uh, in this case, uh, this assistant the, is, the, is direct, es muy directa. Salutation in the beginning of the end. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay. At the beginning or the end. Mm -hmm. So you. my assistant should use, debería usar. Mm -hmm. That's it, thank you. Okay, Wendy, Lucy. In the sky. Lucy likes to tell jokes joke in the office. She laughs very loudly. Okay, loudly. So Lucy is, I mean, is, le gusta contar chistes. But she laughs. Ella se expresa, habla, se ríe fuertemente. Mm -hmm. What's your recommendation for Lucy? Lucy sure. Um, okay, I have one. Lucy should. Lucy should um, be quiet. Be quiet. Or okay. calm. Or or calm. Porque a veces, como les digo, tratemos de buscar palabras fáciles que son lógicas. Ok, Lucy should be calm. Ok, that's it. Uh, in every workplace we have colleagues uh, or friends, no, maybe colleagues, uh, who are like loudly, son como muy bullistos. Hace mucho ruido, maybe when they speak, when they're having conversation, or when they uh, laugh, cuando ellos se ríen. Okay, so uh, that's it. Let me see here. Okay, let's do this, my friends. Write three examples of good behavior and bad behavior in business meetings, okay? I will need just to have one and one. One good behavior and one bad behavior in business meetings and reuniones and those meetings could uh, could be like with your boss with another companies con otras empresas con otras compañías or with your team o simplemente con tu equipo de trabajo with your teamwork okay so those are business meetings so esas son eh, pues uh, reuniones de negocios definitely because you're talking about uh, how to do the good things in your job okay so um 
just give me three, I'm sorry, two. Uh, good things and bad things, okay? So think about it. Piensen sobre eso y ya vamos a, ya vamos a continuar. No quiero necesariamente recomendaciones, sino que como esto. Miren, por ejemplo, eh, he shouts, él grita, right? Este es una más, that's a, a, bad, a bad behavior, cuando él grita. Or eh, she loves very loudly, ¿verdad? Ella platica fuertemente. He never says please, something like this. Cosas como, imaginen cuando están con, con su grupo de, de, de trabajo. Hay personas que quizás eh, no, son, no son educadas, no piden la palabra. Uh, maybe people make noise, la gente hace ruido. When, when, when the, a person is speaking in front of uh, an audience, in front of the, the public, there are some people that they are not in silence. No están en silencio. So that's, that's not polite. Or when a person is eating, cuando alguien está comiendo, and makes a lot of noise, y hace ruido, yeah, things like that could it be. Or when you are in a meeting and people are using your ce their cell phones and you need, or the, the person in charge of the meeting needs like concentration. So there are a lot of examples, good and bad behavior, buen comportamiento y mal comportamiento. If you want, you can tell me both, but if not, you can say just one. Okay. Um, let's see. Carito. Uh, good behavior. Have the cell phone on silent and bad behavior in Sirocco is speaking. Wow. Yes, that's it. Uh, that's a really good example. Cell phone in silent, right? In, or, yeah, even not in vibration, ni siquiera en vibración, because that sound is like disturbing. A veces te molesta un poco, el, el, especially when the cell phone is over, over the, 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 a table. The table, right? yes. Yeah, that's it. It is not, not a good idea. Thank you, Carito. Okay. And we go, um, Wendy and Mardo. Okay, if uh, Wendy is not ready, let's go with Mardo and then Luis. Sorry, teacher. Okay. No problem. Yep. Mardo e Nina. Na, perdón, Mardo, Luis e Nina. Ok, Mardo. Ok, okay teacher. Please. Ca Carlos should to greet. Carlos should greet, sin el to. Should greet. Should. Ok. Should. Ana, ok. And eso es una recomendación, but, but that's ok. Thank you, and we go with Luis and Nina. Uh, should we be loud, Jeff? Serious? Okay, serious in meetings, in reuniones. Yeah, that's it. Meeting, yes. At yes. least, at mm -hmm. least the, the, the meeting is finished. A menos que se haya terminado. Well, so you can. If you have the confidence, of course. Nice. And yes. Nina and Wendy. Okay, the good behavior, I think, is speak gently and respect to, to the other people in the meeting. Oh, that nice, uh, nice. Turn off the phone or silence. Yeah. And the bad behavior, leave early or come late to the meeting. Okay. And send message or receive message, message and don't turn off the sound, the yes. phone, for example. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Come come late is llegar tarde mm -hmm. but late comer is tardista ah. so yes so don't come late as Nina says okay if a person comes late it is a bad behavior right or even at the late comer is imagine sometimes and that's really common the meeting doesn't start because uh, we are, you are waiting for the rest so, and you need time. You, so you have to respect the other's time. Yes. 
Thank you, Nina. Okay, we go with Wendy and after Wendy, Gabriel. Okay, the no polite in the business meeting where they don't pay attention. Good. One. Pay attention. Okay, yes, so important. Thank you, uh, Wendy. We go with Gabriel and Kenny. Okay. Oscar must be nice to customer. Good. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay, yes. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Um, it is important to, 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 to speak politely. And we go with Kenya and Carlos. Okay. Me escucha. Yes. Okay. Parents are not paying attention to training. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, it is good always to pay attention. So if you don't pay attention, de definitely it's a negative, uh, a, a bad behavior. Thank you. Carlos and Yvette. Okay. My company is me to secret. I'm sorry, and could you my, repeat, please? My company is me to secret. Ah, secret. Decir secretos sí. y cosas así. Sí, sí. Oh, yes, yes, definitely secrets are, or mainly when you are in, in front of people and you are like whispering, está como susurrando, mm, that, that, that's really, really negative, a negative behavior. And even professionals do it. Professionals do it. Lo, hay gente profesional, yo he visto gente hacerlo. And even, well, it is uh, not, not a, a good a good or a polite form to, to do things. Okay, Yvette, are you ready? And then Evelyn. Okay, teacher. Um, but hype, by the hype, uh, interrupt the person speaking? Yes, yes, interrupt a person who is speaking. And that's it. And you have to do, ask for the word. Okay, you, you can say, sorry. That's why, es por eso que yo a veces cuando le estoy preguntando, prefiero que me levanten la manita del emoji. Because that's like a very formal. And I, I what? I say who goes, who goes first, second, and there. Pero a veces cuando de un solo hablan, it's like, hmm, like a kind of interruption. Thank you, Yvette. Nice examples. Okay. Uh, what if we listen to uh, Evelyn? Yo creo que ya pasó, ¿verdad? Oh, ahorita. Okay, Evelyn and Dora. Uh, she using a phone with the meeting. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that sometimes uh, there are some important or urgent things to check in your cell phone, but mm, we have to respect in the meetings. Thank you. Duran, and then Claudia. Okay, Duran, if Duran is not ready, what about Claudia? Uh, my boss are, are very serious, and when they get mold, they scream. Oh, they scream, yes. Okay, that, that's like a really, really negative aspect. And thank you. So um, this, this I'm, going to, I'm going to give kind, well, I'm going to give more time for this question because I have noticed that there are like two or three people who, um, who are not so clear. Algunos de ustedes quizás no están muy claros con respecto a esta pregunta. Okay. Should suicidal patients have the right to die? Me refiero a que si hay pacientes eh, en el tema psiquiátrico, psicológico, right. simplemente se han hecho daño, se han lacerado. Eh, do they have the right to die? ¿Tienen el derecho a morir? ¿Realmente cumplir su deseo de, 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 de morir? So you tell me, yes. They have the right, ellos tienen el derecho a fallecer, or no, I think that they, uh, they need, blah, 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 necesitan cosas, necesitan okay. some other things. So, do, you give me your, what's your opinion about it? But, before going to this, porque sé que algunos todavía están como preparando su, su respuesta porque tenían dudas. Okay, we go to this. Carlos, yes, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Should 
Fine. Ah, ok. Uh, are you ready? ¿Ya estás listo? Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok. Let's go. Tell me. Ok. Suicidal. In my opinion. Ok, ok. Should suicidal paintings have to rain today? To die. To die? In my opinion, no. With because they like us always a uh, heavy to ring to light uh, and if we can help team mentally to understand what they have experienced they will be able able to reconsider okay yeah maybe they need some help right maybe we can help and to try to to help them through through different forms okay good uh, Kenya and Carito okay teacher yeah for me life is very sacred since God has given us that great blessing it does not matter how how hard the problems has been that the person has had to get to think about commuter. Okay. So, no sé cómo se dice suicidio, suicide. Suicide. Okay, uh -huh. suicide. But the main thing I should do is seek help of a professional. Okay. So, yeah, so, continue. So I do not agree that they okay, have, perfect. The, uh -huh, have the, the right to die. Right to die. Okay. Good, good example. Yes, life is sacred, and uh, God has given like the opportunity to live. And so your point is that um, uh, they have like mental problems sometimes, emotional problems. So maybe they need a little bit of help. Will, will, will. Okay, thank you, Kenya. Nice, Carito and Marvin. Okay, Carito, go. Okay, teacher. It, it really is a sensitive issue because I analyzed it from the point of view that my daughter wanted to commit suicide. And well, my answer will be no. I will not let her die. Yes, and that's it. It's in that is because la very uh, extreme decision, right? In that, in that common, that is common when people are looking for solutions, so they don't find any solution. So the only way is to die for them. Como no encuentran solución, so well, it is like very extreme, but uh, definitely, as Carito said, uh, especially ma a, a relative or a family a family member. Wow, you, you, you definitely say, no, come on, we're going to help you and, and look for alternatives, right? Thank you, uh, Carito. Mardo, and then Gabriel. I am going to start by saying that the free, wa free will that God gives us does not allow, allow us to make the decision to take our how, how lives because it is a power that belongs to the cre creator. Okay, yes. The mm -hmm. Holy Bible, Bible, Bible. The, 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 the Holy Bible says, or teach, see now that I, I am, I am, and there are not gods with me. I may die and make life, life, I won't, and I hear, and there is no, no one who can deliver from my hand. Okay. Doctor, uh, Deuteronomio Seri 2, Seri 9. Okay, thank you, Omardo. A very detailed and specific information taken from the Bible. 
right? So the text yeah. says the sacred text, the sacred text of the same process, so, right? We don't have the power to take it. So that's Mardo's point of view. Good, good, right? So that's part of the spiritual um, point of view. And that is something that, well, me as a, as a good reader, como un buen lector, I have noticed that most of the people who commit suicide, sometimes they, ha they don't have the spiritual part. No tiene como esa parte espiritual, bien, bien, bien fortalecida. And, well, there are some uh, difficulties. They are not balanced, no están como equilibrados. Well, and, well, they take that decision. Thank you, Mardu. Uh, very nice point of view. And, hey, Gabriel. Okay. Uh, no human being in the world can decide if a person lives or dies that is up to God. It is not corresponding to the human being to decide for the life of father. I am against the death penalty and euthanasia. Euthanasia. Okay, Euthanasia. good, Gabriel. You don't agree of death penalty, suicidal, or euthanasia, right? No taking life. Okay. Thank you very much, my friends. I always like uh, your opinions because we have like different points of view. And as we have uh, different points of view, that makes like very interesting um, it, it, the questions. So, como más interesantes las preguntas. But for ese punto de vista, right? Because of those, the different points of view. Eh? I, I like it. Okay. Read, eh, we're going to continue with the question later. Si se dan cuenta, a veces les hago preguntas un tanto existenciales, preguntas para que, eh, preguntas que, in my case, when I was a student, I would like to, to have had that, haber tenido eso. Sí, me hubiese gustado tener diferentes tipos de preguntas because you can look for different vocabulary, even to make a reference of the Bible. Incluso para hacer una referencia a la Biblia, hay vocabulario específico para eso, right? So that's why. Well, read the sentences carefully, con cuidado. Carefully es cuidadosamente, ¿verdad? Con cuidado. And then fill the gaps giving the advice using should or shouldn't. Recuerden, remember, should, shouldn't. No me digan should, no. Should, shouldn't, okay? Um, let's see, here we have from 1 to 11. Uh, who wants to participate? Remember, uh, read the, the sentence and based on the sentence, the, the, the context, you can say should or shouldn't. Los verbos ya están dados. Okay. Solo necesitamos should or shouldn't. Okay. Volunteers, please raise your hand with the emoji. And I'm going to, 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 to select. Okay, Nina. What number? Number one. Oh. If, if Alice, if Alice has Eric, Eric, she shouldn't go swimming today. She shouldn't. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to use cross for shouldn't and a check for should. Okay. Okay. Alice shouldn't go swimming because uh, Eric, uh, Eric yeah. is like your yeah. ear is like you feel like a, a profound pain. Uh -huh. Yeah. Definitely a bad idea, Nina. Good. Nice, uh, Carito. Number three. Go with number three. Gil has a high fever. We should take care of the doctor. Yes, there are a lot of cases in which people has people have had have. I'm sorry, people have died because of the fever, right? Well, <laughs> definitely going to the doctor. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, four. Okay. We, when you go to the beach, you should always use sun cream. Okay. Well, when you go to the beach, uh, to the beach, beach, you beach. should always <laughs> use sun cream. My friends, if you want to go and get a sunburn, quieren tener quemada, denle. Go ahead. But definitely the sun in, in the in the what in the beach is like really really hard. That's it. So use sun cream, verdad? Que es eh, cómo se le llama la 
tema bronceadora, ¿cómo se le llama? Es, es bronceador. La, ah, bronceador. bronceador. That, that's it. Y van a aparecer Julio Iglesias. Yes, you, you, you need some friend. And Carlos and Evelyn. Okay, fight it, chef. Fight. Mar is, Mark is always a congling. Coffin, yes. coffin. Coffin, okay. Coffin, yes. Yes, hey, show, show not high of the smoking. Um, yo creo que es should. Ok, recuerda, Carlos. He, aquí, he. Ok, uh, como Mark siempre está tosiendo, coughing, coughing. Cough significa toser, por eso cough, cough, coughing. Es como que un sonido un tanto onomatopeico por el verbo. Ok, so he should give up. Él debería de dejar, give up, es darse por vencido o dejar de fumar. Uh -huh. Porque si decimos no debería de, de dejar de fumar, es like, well, it's going to die. Ok, Evelyn. We go with Evelyn and then Kenya. Number seven. Yeah. We shouldn't visit grandmother until the coronavirus is under control. Yes, of course. People with, with well, the elders, verdad, los, los ancianitos, they are so, well, they, they, they are like, uh, they are about to get a lot of illnesses. Están como bien propensos. Tener enfermedades. So, of course, coronavirus, right? But now it's like a different, but yeah, definitely. Uh, it is true, Evelyn. Uh, Kenya and Edwin. Ay, me quitaron a mí. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my dear Kenya. No, Por eso okay. les digo que tengan opciones para todo. ¿Verdad, Carito? Para todo. Yeah. Okay, vamos a ver. Uh, six. Okay. Your son should, should eat so much, so much fast food. He will put, put, put. Put on. No, junto. Put uh, on. Put on. A lot yeah. of weight. Weight. Mm -hmm. Weight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. So your son should or should? Should. Should. Ok. ¿Tu hijo debería comer mucha comida rápida? ¿Debería comer? Shouldn't. Thank you. Yes. Fast food is so delicious, but it's really bad. Thank you. And we go now with, uh, what if we we'll listen to Luis and Yvette? Ok, teacher. Number two. Yep. Uh, You shouldn't go out if you have a bad cold. If you have a bad cold, mm -hmm. definitely. Yes, Edwin. Eh, okay, Yvette and Edwin. I'm sorry, Edwin, no te había visto que después bajaste la mano. Okay, Yvette and Edwin. Okay. Ten. Yeah. Number ten. Please. Dan has a terrible ha headache. Uh, headache. Headache. Yes. Headache. He should. Sí, should. Take an aspirin and rest for a... Rest for a while. While. A while. While, while significa rato. While. Por un rato, ¿verdad? Debería descansar por un rato. For a while. Okay, thank you. Okay, Edwin, okay. Um, tell me, what number? Okay, number eight. Okay, go. Jade has a broken leg. She shouldn't walk anywhere for a week. Yes, imagine a broken leg. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't work uh, anywhere. Okay, so um, let's see, thank you. We have some others. What about Gabriel and Wilfred? We have number nine and we have number 11. Okay, Gabriel or Wilfredo? Okay. The number. ¿Cómo se dice? El 11. 11. Okay, 11. Paul has had. Two rake. Two rake. Two rakes. Since yesterday, I think he. Should go to the dentist. 
Yes, toothache, dolor de dientes. That's one of the most horrible, horrible things in the world. I don't know, maybe it is the worst. No sé si es el peor de los dolores, but for me, it's in the top, in the top three. It's in the top three, I guess it is. Uh, thank you. Wilfredo, can you help me with number nine? Uh, ball field of the leather. 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 On his head, head and cheek, thing he uh, should have an X ray taken. Yes, that's it. Se cayó de las escaleras, so he needs, uh, he need, uh, he needs, I'm sorry, X ray taken. Okay, let me see here how some others we have, um, 12. 13, 14, 15. Carito, can you help me? Which one, teacher? From 12. 12, no, desde la 12 en adelante. Okay, yes. Uh, okay. Number 14. 14. 14. If you have, if you have, a call you should blow your nose with a tissue and throw throw it away okay that's it thank you wendy and nina um and her daughter is uh, sure Go to the school because she has chicken pox. Okay. Um, should or shouldn't? Because. Paricela. Chicken pox, Paricela. Ah, shouldn't. Shouldn't. That's a bad idea. Uh, a lot of kids can get chicken pox because of that, right? So it is a, a bad idea, especially for the first time, even we as human, we are going to, to, to have chicken pox at least one time in our life, okay? At least. And, and Nina, help me with number 13, if you please. Okay. Ali sits to class to the TV. I think she should have her eyes checked. Okay, yes. Yes, uh, her, uh, I'm sorry, she'll have her eyes checked. Yeah. Eyes, eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, now let's continue with the topic um, in specific. Okay, check uh, which tips for writing emails do you follow? Okay, let's uh, here have do not do not use all capitals you know what is capitals saben que son los capitals okay mayúsculas. yes capitals mayúsculas low case son las minúsculas okay capitals mayúsculas low case minúsculas I, I recommend you to take notes le recomiendo que, que tomen nota de eso okay podemos decir low case letters or simplemente low case, para minúsculas, no problem. Okay, you can use this. Okay, um, low case and, or capitals. And even, I don't know if you notice, but when you have like a text with capitals, it is like uncomfortable, es como incómodo para leerlo. It's like, it feels like different, but well. Next, avoid using the subject important. Evita usar el, ¿cómo se llama? El tema, el subject, eh, digamos, o el motivo, o importante. Use a formal salutation. A formal salutation is, uh, as we were saying, saludos cordiales, blah, 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 and all those, like, a, a short intro, that it is, like, politely. Be brief. Ser breve. Brief. Breve. Claro y conciso. Brief. Express clearly why you are writing. Expresar claramente por qué. What, what is the reason you are right sending that, that mail? Do not use abbrevi abbreviations. No usar abbreviations. Oh, that's it. 
do not use smileys or emojis. Okay. So tell me what you consider is like the, the most common or one of the most important in here. Luis, what about you? What do you think? What is one of the most important um, tips? Uh, be brief. Be brief. Be brief. Be brief. Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't know how many lines do you take for uh, email. ¿Cuántas líneas se llaman para un correo? Three, four. Sí, normalmente dos líneas. Yeah. Brief, right? Yes, that's it. <laughs> I guess it depends on the topic. Depends on yes, on the subject, right? On the Maybe subject, if, yes. if you want to clarify something or a miss a misunderstanding, un malentendido. Misunderstanding. We have we have like uh, misunderstandings in meetings in reports and so on. So you want to clarify your point and you want to say, mm, I'm sorry, but that is not the, the, this case, the situation, so blah, blah, blah. Yes, and th there are some others. Um, here we have also, what about you, Evelyn? What do you think it is uh, some other important tip? Avoid using the subject is Im important. Important, yeah, maybe, could it be? Could it be, right? Uh, not all emails are important 100%. Not all son debido a muerte, right? Mm -hmm. So it is not, you, you don't have to use it if it is not like the case. Thank you. What about, um, we have Mardo. Use a formal sal salutation. Salutation. Yes, yeah, salutation. It is important. Uh, if you don't use it, it's like you're not, go you're not being polite. Okay, well, we have some other cases like this, right? And it is good to, to have clear these tips. Well, we continue. And here we have a short conversation, okay, with your partner. So here we have Amanda and Luis. Oh, Luis, well, you can say Luis. So um, let's see, appropriate, appropriate. Son de esas palabras que, que, que tienen esa consonante, esa R. ¿eh? Nosotros siempre pensamos que es appropriate, pero es appropriate. Entonces, normalmente nosotros en español no tenemos R vocal, R vocal, digamos, en, en las palabras. Abbreviation, business. Could, igual que should, would. Ok. That's it. I will ask... Um, some help and please Gabriel and Evelyn. I know I'm, so, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, Evelyn, you're going to be Amanda and Gabriel, you're going to be Luis. Please. Do you often send email? Yes, I do. It, it is appropriate to use abbrevi abbreviation in business emails. No, this not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yes, sure. Perfect. Good. Eh, me gustó el acento de Evelyn. Do you often send emails? Entonces está dando el, la pauta que es una pregunta, right? There are some other. Bueno, the 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 last course, el curso pasado, se recuerdan que hicimos. Una parte solo de preguntas para que hubiesen el, el, el centro ese, pero entonces qué bueno que Evelyn lo hace. Y Gabriel eh, responde brevemente. Yes, I do. No, this is professional because it's an affirmation. So good, good for you. And aunque esta sea una, una pregunta algo larga, is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? Ya en las últimas dos palabras, ahí le podemos dar un, un tono, un, un acento ya de pregunta. Como que deja picado para que la otra persona, ah, me está preguntando, right? Okay, we go now with Carito and Luis, the same conversation, please. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviation in business emails? No, it is not professional. 
I see. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. That's it, my friend. Well, nice, very nice. No sé si me siguieron el tip de leer algunos de ustedes. Creo que algunos sí, algunos no, pero sí lo han hecho. Eh, siento que para la lectura, you are improving a lot. Están mejorando bastante. Así que la lectura siempre pues es so important. Let's go to the listening part. Vamos a la parte de listening. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, does anybody remember what was the last audio about? The rules of the library, uh, the, the rules in the biblioteca. Are you sure? Library? Sería sobre la biblioteca? Correct. Me gusta porque Carito me está ahí dando. Ajá, no. Puede que sí o que no, pero casi, cre no, casi no, caía. No, 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 the casi party, caía, cariño. The swimming party. Oh, yeah. Swimming, ya ves, si buscas en tu corazón, ahí está la verdad, mujer. Well, in my, that's it. In my notebook. Lo que in me gusta es que carita la determinación, ya sí le iba a decir sí. sí. Ok, well. Yeah, the swimming party. The, there's an invitation. Ok, you remember that? Uh, there was a, that was a girl, right? A girl was inviting inviting a friend to come to a swimming uh, swimming pool party una fiesta fiestecita pequeña decían pero una gran casa y con piscina y trajes de baño exóticos so uh, let's listen and then you tell me what do you got i'm sorry what do you get from this audio Ah, you're still not answering your phone. Okay, here are the instructions to get to my cousin's house for the party. Are you going to take your car? If you take the car, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. That's 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right, okay? If you're taking a bus, you can get the number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. Can't wait. This is going to be so great. Okay. Let's listen again. Ah, oh, you're still not answering your phone. Okay, here are the instructions to get to my cousin's house for the party. Are you going to take your car? If you take the car, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. That's 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right, okay? If you're taking a bus, you can get the number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. Can't wait. This is going to be so great. Nice. Yep. Comments, words. Yes, Carito. The pronunciation was very weird. <laughs> yes, it was very weird. I, I I have a, a, a few words. Yep. The last one, this is going to be so great. A cousin house to the party. Okay, check in first, okay. Get the number, call me, answer, exit, drive right. No mm -hmm. Really good. Even the pronunciation was kind of weird. You got a lot of words. 
That's I don't good. know if it was the, the, the pronunciation or the vocabulary. I, I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Maybe okay. not. I don't know. We're going to check. We're going to compare the listening and the text, and then you tell me. Okay. And some others. Thank you, Carito. No more tears. Nina, go. Okay, I a few words. Word. Uh, the party answer nice. the phone. A car, I stretch, a cousin, um, drive, exit uh, 30A, I think. 13. Uh, mm -hmm. On the left, nice. uh, the bus, uh, 80, Brownsville, uh, going to the so great. That's it. <laughs> Okay, good, Nina. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, a lot of words. Do you have some others? One more, come on. Okay, teacher. Yeah. A little complication. Yes, what complicated? Yeah, I know. Um, party, drive, exit, it's okay, coming, going to see. Are you going to eat? Is going to. Okay, good. Yes, good words. Uh, does anybody wrote a number? Escribir, escuchar algún número? What number? Yeah. Yo lo escuché, pero no lo escribí. Eh, eh, no okay. 13 and 80. Okay, the same, right? 80, 30. Mm -hmm. Good. 13, I'm sorry, 13, yes. 13. And I know, uh, if you notice when you are listening an audio or a text, something that is outstanding, algo que sobresaliente, outstanding, le voy a dar esa palabra, creo que les puede servir alguna vez. Outstanding, no out, out, es sobresaliente. You can be an, an outstanding Worker, if you do your job on time, if you uh, develop your obligations, your functions, so you can be an outstanding employee, right? So that's it. So in this case, something that was like outstanding was the numbers, okay? 13 and 80, okay? And let me see what else. Let me see. Aquí se lo voy a poner el... el Going to yeah okay let's check this y ustedes me dicen si la pronunciación fue la 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 como rara si fue la velocidad speed si fue el acento o el tono en el que lo hizo okay so remember that this is uh, these are recording messages. Son, son mensajes grabados en contestadora, en answering phone, answering machine, ¿verdad? Son, son, son las de contestadora. So, let's listen and check. It. Ah, you're still not answering your phone. Okay, here are the instructions to get to my cousin's house for the party. Are you going to take your car? If you take the car, drive straight on Forest Road until you get to the motorway. Drive past Brownsville and take exit 13A. That's 13A. You drive down the road there and turn left. It's the first big house on the right, okay? If you're taking a bus, you can get the number 80 to Brownsville. Call me when you get there and somebody can pick you up in a car. Can't wait. This is going to be so great. Okay. Comments, comentarios. Tal vez la velocidad, la velocidad, teacher. Could it be right? Mm -hmm. Speed, la velocidad en que lo dijo. Ajá. Uh -huh. You know Igual what? The, the pronunciation, it was like the man, man, I think. Like nasal, no. como nasal, como Eros <laughs> Ramazotti. <laughs> it, it sounds weird. Sounds weird, yes. Bueno, me me costó entender un poquito. 
Hay palabras bien desconocidas también que no yeah. entienden yeah. los textos. Creo But que you, you know, in the first time I, I thought that it was a weird word, but no, I, for me, was the pronunciation. <laughs> it was nasal, it was bien, bien nasal, right? Es por eso que, ajá, y, y se escuchó como, 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 como quisquillosa, como que, eh, the, the objective of this is that, remember, the first message was an invitation, and this one, it's like claiming, uh, I'm sorry, yes, it's complaining, es como que una media queja. Oh, you're not, uh, you're not still, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're still not answering your phone. Mm, así que no has contestado tu teléfono. Okay, here are the instructions. Entonces, se la dice de una manera un poquito ligera, como que ahí ve, depends on you, right? Es por eso pues, que le notan así. And I guess something that is like a, a distraction, una, siento que algo que es distra una distracción son estas palabras. Forest Road, Brownsville, Motorway en Brownsville porque son definitivamente palabras que no están en nuestro radar por eso cuando tenemos un audio yo recomiendo que cuando encuentren estas palabras no gasten segundos de su vida poniendo la atención a eso, sino que capten que su cerebro y, 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 y el your listening skills se centre en alguna información como eh, 13A, 80 um, take the car ¿Verdad? Entonces hablo del carro, take the car, eh, cousins, house party, ¿verdad? Um, if you're taking a bus, eso lo escucharon. If you're taking a bus, porque dijeron bus, no escucharon bus, bueno, no hay problema. Eh, call me when you get there. Son frases que a veces uno puede escuchar, a veces lo dice algo rápido, ¿ok? Creo que hubieron como partes que se, se apresuró más, las dijo más rápido, right? But it is good. It is good that you can have this kind of audios and like uh, try to get the idea. Creo que lo importante es eso, pues, que ustedes capten. No todos los audios van a ser, okay, take your car and motorway. No, no, right. En la vida real así es. No voy a hacer. Okay. And, sí. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Let me check something. Oh, uh, let's continue with, with the question. Should uh, suicidal, suicidal, sé que esta palabra es algo rara, por eso practiquenla, suicidal, suicide, suicide. So, should suicidal patients have the right to die? Why? Yes, you agree, you do agree. So in this case, we can listen to Luis and then Yvette. Okay, Luis, tell us okay, your point. Teacher, I, I consider not uh, because life is a gift that God has given you and no one has the appropriately to decide on the right of another's life if in favor of life, but not against life. Okay, good, good. Um, definitely, it is an attempt, it's como, como un atentado, it's something like a really extreme, as I said before, and definitely nobody, well, like with your five senses, con tus cinco sentidos, nobody with five senses uh, is going to say yes kill yourself. See, sí, matate, right? It's like, mm -hmm. come on, think twice. Think what you're doing, man. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, let's listen to Yvette. And then Claudia. Okay. From my point of view. View, no. view. View, view, no. Because I believe in God and only he has the right to take our lives. Okay, this and is the only one. Okay. See. Yes. Okay, yes. Good point. Remember that we have different uh, opinions, and that's why it is good you are accustomed to say your opinion. 
your ideas. Good. Uh, we go with Claudia. Uh, I show suicidal parent have the right to day. Uh, suicidal. That, uh -huh. uh, suicidal. Suicidal. Yes, for good. For that topic, it would be a controversy to talk about it because some would think so, or they're not because some would uh, be guided uh, by what the Bible say uh, that no one can take the life of and John, but God, no others who say uh, yes because Jews as they don't have a soul to commit suicide and neither do people, nobody came before that. Okay, okay, thank you. Very nice. Yes, that's it. And we finished this round with Evelyn. Are you ready? No, teacher. Not ready. Okay. No. So, Nina, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. I don't I don't agree. Okay. But attempts our life because if if I have a lot of problems, different problems maybe have a different ways for solution. Not suicidal for me, no is the correct way because uh, the, the God give the life and then it's better to consider another ways to solution the problems. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. You have different ways, different uh, options. And yeah. yeah, the death is not, well, what is going to, to happen is that you're going to disappear from this world. But imagine if your family has a lot of problems, if you kill yourself, that's not going yeah. to, to be the solution, right? You have to, like, to give to, 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 yeah, to give support and all those things. I know it's not, it's like selfish. Creo que es un poco egoísta, right? I, 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 I think about for the people in the United States, in that moment, uh, lost the companies, and then have different ways to solution. But the people kill, kill, uh, take a gun, and you know, yeah, some, some big, big, uh, big um, empresarios. Como se dice? Yes, uh, yes, a uh, business, business person, business okay. person, yeah, yeah that's it. leadership, and then you, uh, you say, I think, what happened? The money way, the money come, but yeah. the life way, way, yeah. Even uh, th there were some statistics in, let me see where, I don't know if in China or Japan, I, I read an article about it, that uh, there is a, a highly percentage or people who kill themselves. Even yeah. they can have like uh, jobs, they can have some opportunities, but they definitely do it. So it is really on the contrary, on the other hand yeah. here in, in Latin America, it is not so common. Yes, it happens. Of course, there are some exceptions. There are some cases, but here it's like, well, people, it's it is few. not the first thing, but in those it's countries, mm -hmm, it is like very yeah. common. Yeah. And it, okay. it is. Mm. Yes, y eso sucede, pues, bien, bien curioso, yeah. en ciertos países. Well, uh, we continue with this and uh, I need you just to give me a, take a look at this. Uh, read the tips to write the formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal. For the informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make it, to make them more formal. Bien, lo vamos a, we're going to classify, okay, from one to 10. Eh, de, de esos que están acá, si es formal o informal. Now, eh, if the, the ones eh, which are informal, what can we do to make it la, 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 uh, better? ¿Cómo lo podemos mejorar? Okay. Eh, les doy un, pues, un par de segundos para que les den una ley.
Okay. So here we have from one to 10, you tell me mm -hmm, which ones you consider like in for, formal or informal. Okay. Um, here we have Carito. Yeah. Okay. One number. I consider just one. Yeah, by the moment, yes. Uh, just give me a second. Okay. Creo que no fue suficiente el fin de semana. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ajá, Carito, tell me. Okay, I'm going to say the number nine. Add a oh. signature block with appropriate contact information. Your name, business address, and phone number is formal. Formal email. Okay, good. It's a formal email. And specifically, specifically because you are providing um, very formal info, right? Business address and phone number, that's it. Okay, Luis, you go. Okay, teacher number six. Six. Be polite. Remember to write, please, and thank you. Formal. Definitely formal. Be polite. Remember to write, please, and thank you. So, good one. Yes, Wendy. Uh, two. Include mm -hmm. a polite salute. Salutation, a G, there me, Mister, or there Miss. Good morning, uh, no sé cómo uh, 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 yes, etc., etc. Yes, that's it. Um, uh, dear, is this dear, dear, okay, dear, como dear querido me. o querida, como la canción de Juan Gabriel. Okay, so that's it. Uh, dear, dear Mister Wilson. Okay, and so okay. Yes, definitely formal, right? It's a kind of salutation. Good, uh, Wendy. Evelyn, what number? Number five. Okay, let's go. A, a boy abbreviation. E-G. E-G. E -G. P -L -S, please. Please, aha. Uh -huh. The rara is a P-L-Z. <laughs> please, it's like, mm, come on. <laughs> definitely it's informal formal of course right you're not going to write this to your boss to your supervisor your coordinator mm -mm, a bad idea definitely well uh thank you we go with gabriel and margo okay gabriel number 10 number 10 edit and proof uh -huh. proof, proof read proof read proof read before you send the mail uh -huh. What do you think? Leerlo antes, editarlo antes de enviarlo. Sí. Mm -hmm. Revisarlo, okay. Revisar okay. bien lo que está enviando. Do you bien. think or oh, you consider is it it this tip is for formal or informal? Formal. Formal. That's it. Formal. Even have you noticed for WhatsApp messages? No sé si lo han notado. Sometimes we use like a a Block notes, como un nota de block de notas. Escribimos ahí, we write the, 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 the complete text and then we copy and paste on WhatsApp. A veces cuando los, los, los WhatsApp, un ejemplo que no es correo electrónico es quieres tener bien claro la idea informal, uno no se quiere equivocar. So, you, si no se revisa, hasta lo puedes enviar a otra persona. Of course, sí, te lo envías a tu ex. Yeah, that's it. Proof read, <laughs> o sea, leerlo antes, previa, previamente. Thank you, Gabriel. Good. Eh, Kenya, go. Okay, teacher. Four? Four. Mm -hmm. The news are capital or are lower? Yes, letters. Letters. Mm -hmm. letters. Yes. Formal. Formal, right, good, sí, no usar uh, solo, solo capitales o, o, o minúsculas, o sea, ok, eh, no usar solo eso, ¿verdad? Solo mayúsculas o minúsculas. Uh -huh. eh, a veces siento, eh, eh, he leído correos, I have read some mails with capital letters y se siente como que te están gritando, se siente como que, ¿verdad? It's like, I don't know, it's kind of weird, right? Yeah. But it happens sometimes, thank you. Mardo, one, three, seven, or eight? Number three. Yeah. 
write your main point in the opening sentence. Oh, wow. Yes, formal or informal? It's formal. Yes, because you are, you have to be brief. Quiere ser breve. So you have to indicate what is your main point or the reason of the main. Okay, good. Uh, Carlos, one, seven, or eight? Eight. Okay. You use a clothing, present light bed, ray, ray, regards, 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 looking, looking forward to you, comment, etc. etc. Okay. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes, formal or informal? Formal. Formal. Sí, lo, lo, los mejores deseos, esperando de comentarios o a la espera de tus comentarios. So this is like eh, como closing eh, phrase, frase para cerrar, ¿verdad? No, no le van a decir, ahí estamos, but no, you're not going to say that. You're going to say, okay, waiting for okay. your comments. Thank you. And we have number one and seven volunteers for this one. One. Okay, so in this case, Carito, help me. Okay, teacher. Uh, and then Nina. Number seven. Yeah. Be brief if your message is too long, consider using an attachment. It's yep. like formal. Email. Formal, yes. And an attachment, it's a. Un it's archivo adjunto. adjunto. Un archivo adjunto, yes, that's the attachment. Yeah, sometimes you have a PDF <laughs> uh, file or some other, okay? If you, if you have a letter or something like that. Yes. Okay. Nina, number one, what do you think? Okay. Uh -oh. Fill in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient, and not just document of important. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. And we're about, okay. So look at this. We have send, uh, then we have uh, two. Here we have. I'm yes. sorry, teacher. The number one was formal or informal? I uh, didn't understand. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fill mm -hmm. in the subject line with a topic relevant to your recept. Yes. And not just document or important. That's formal, definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, remember that important. Yes. Sometimes you can do it, but not with all mails, all the formal mails, right? So that's it. Um, good. Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things, okay? See you. And here we have this. Look at this. Uh, the subject is Saturday. Saturday. And here we have the other. Tomorrow's meeting. Robert, comma. Remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with IT. Uh, don't forget the document. Le falta la T and don't. Okay. So that's it. So what about the first one? What do you think? It is formal or informal? Informal. 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 What about the number two? Formal. Formal. formal, formal. Aunque no tiene salutation. Aquí le falta, ¿verdad? No tiene eh, que, perdón. ¿Ah? No tiene que, dijo, profe. Eh, no, le hace falta como el saludo, eh, ah, okay. Mr. Uh -huh, dear Robert, okay, dear Mr. Robert, remember that tomorrow podría ser, ¿verdad? Eh, y después, best regards, okay, puede poner lo, lo, los mejores deseos, eh, looking forward your comments and all those, okay, all those things, you can do it, okay? So here we have examples of, uh, imagínense aquí en lo último, see you, mm -hmm. so that's it, right? And como, don't forget the documents, and that's it. Well, vamos a escribir un email corto, okay? Write a professional email to a co-worker, confirm that you need to meet him here uh, tomorrow. Apply suggestion from exercise five, okay? Vamos a hacer un correo. Podemos tomar esta idea. Look, this is one idea. Confirm that you need to meet him or her tomorrow. Como que confirmando que necesitas verle a él o a ella, a un, co un compañero de trabajo, ok, mañana. 
puede ser de dos líneas, una línea, ¿ok? Ese es el tema acá, ¿verdad? La confirmación que necesitas verlo. But if you want to, to write an email with a different subject, of course, you are free to do it, ¿ok? Les voy a poner el ejemplo del mail y lo que necesito principalmente, ¿ok? Um, it is not necessary you to tell me, no es necesario que me digan el correo electrónico, just the content, el contenido, ¿ok? So definitely, we're going to use this. Vamos a usar un parecido. Obviously, you can use your own words in different phrases. Pueden utilizar diferentes frases, ¿ok? Um, tenemos acá esto. ¿Verdad? Por si querían, ¿qué? ¿Le puede poner un momento esto? Ok, por si quieren tomar en cuenta esto. Look. Pueden finalizar con esto, ¿eh? Best regards. Regards. Looking forward to your comments. Ok. Pueden utilizar esto. So, like tips. Son tips. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, that's it. I'm going to give you, like, what? Two or three minutes to write it, ¿ok? Luego me lo leen. Lo dejo eso un par de segundos solo para que copien algunas de las frases que pueden utilizar y luego lo cambio para el ejemplo. Pero podemos dar cualquier ejemplo, teacher. En... Okay. Yes, yes, of course. You are free to do it. Son libres de hacerlo. Si ustedes quieren utilizar otro, otro ejemplo, otro formato, definitely. Come on, you can do it. Okay, ready to share? Yeah, please. Uh, Carito, maybe, are ready? Yes, teacher. Go on. <clears throat> okay, dear Kenya, I hope you're well. I just want to remember you that I need to see you tomorrow. Good night. Yeah, very brief and concrete. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what about Evelyn? Um, Nina? Uh, good morning, Patty. Remember that absolutist is the meeting with the manager. Best regards. Good. Solo remember. Remember. Okay. Remember. Very nice. Okay. Es algo breve, right? Good. Uh, Nina and then Wendy. Mr. Cuellar, subject meeting. Please confirm to assist a Saturday meeting at noon. Best regards. Yeah, that's it. Please confirm. Yeah, 
Eh, yeah. you, are, you are asking for something politely. Estás pidiendo algo yeah. amablemente. Good. Yes. Eh, Wendy en Kenia. Eh, subject, June planification. Good yeah. morning, Marian. We call meeting tomorrow in my office at 2 p.m. to see the social media schedule for the month of June. Please confirmation. Good. Please, I need your confirmation or please confirm. Okay. Confirm. Okay. Please confirm. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we go with Kenny and Luis. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. You can send me to work of the HP computer. I will be pending. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Nice. Luis and Carlos. Hey. Peter, confirm if you will send the document tomorrow. Good morning. Nice, easy. Uh, Carlos and Gabriel. Okay, sujet party tomorrow. Good day, friends. Where hi and party tomorrow night. Talk to your friends. How an idea dies. Okay, thank you. Gabriel and Mardo. Okay. okay. Good evening, Mr. Charlie. I confirm attendance at the meeting tomorrow. Chair Gabriel Beltran. Okay, thank you. Mardo, and after Mardo, we go with Yvette. Okay. Uh, dear Carlos Navas, the subject, um, uh, order the bag. Uh, Roberto, remember to send me uh, the back order next Friday. Don't forget the CO. Okay. E very interesting. Thank you. Yvette and Wilfredo. Okay. Good day, Jorge. By this means, I inform you that tomorrow we had a meeting at night in the morning. Atten attentively, Yvette Firma. Good. Wilfredo, and then we go with Claudia. Please call attend the meeting tomorrow, please. Thank you. Okay, nice. Claudia and Edwin. Uh, Carla, gmail.com, subject, Monday. Remember, we we'll have to prepare my Gmail, everything for uh, the please don't forget the thing. Okay, thank you. And Edwin, are you ready? Then Duran. Yeah. Um, Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with it. Don't forget the document. Okay, the documents. Good. And uh, Duran, are you ready? Okay, maybe it's not ready. So um, we go now, vamos ahora para cambiar esto, vamos con, what's the name of this song para refrescarnos un poquito? Okay, Monday, sé que ha sido difícil, pero in 20 minutes we finish. 20 minutos terminamos, ya casi, esto pasa rápido. Okay, who was in charge of the song? Let me see. Mm, Mardo? No. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, Mardo. Okay. Uh, for tomorrow, solo para comentar desde ya. For tomorrow, Oscar no está acá, ¿verdad? Bien. For tomorrow, we have Nina. Okay, Nina. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. Antes que se me olvide. Yes. Okay. Mardo, uh, well, I'm going to give you space for you to teacher, share. Una yep. consulta. Eh, fíjese que la, la letra la tengo en, en como la en el corazón que, en, <ríe> la tengo en, 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 en mensaje de whatsapp entonces no sé cómo compartirlo o, o lo mejor lo mando Mira, a I, I, I highly recommend you not to share whatsapp conversations because you can have some other things right no, que carita, mírala solo, yes, solo can... archivos solo archivos yes. de la clase ¿sabes qué te recomiendo? 
toma la captura. Y con la captura ya vas a tener la imagen. Ya cuando vayas a compartirlo, buscas eh, la imagen esa de, de la captura y la proyectas. Para que no te va a llegar ningún mensaje ahí de Juan Mecánico o something like that. But it happens. We have, nuestros mecánicos son bien atentos. Right? It happens. It happens. Aquí, aquí la tengo. ¿A Juan Mecánico o the, the letter? No, 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 no. Ah, letra. ok. Yo voy a mandar al grupo, se me hace más fácil así. Yeah. <risa> ok. A la gente relajo le gusta. Solo nos quedamos calladitos. No, 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 no. no. Ok. Eh, es, que, es que le gusta el relajo, ya veo que ustedes. Así, son... como, no, que no, Juan, sí. así como que Juan Mecánico escribe, I'm pregnant. Oh, bueno. Está en el grupo. Pobre está Juan. Grupo. Ok, we have to help Juan. Tenemos que ayudar a Juan. Yes, eh, está en el grupo. Yes, but the point here, bien, Mardo no puede compartir porque I, there are a lot of reasons. Hay muchas razones. Carito, can you help us sharing, please? Teacher, ahí está ya. Absolutely, teacher. Sí, pero el Vamos. punto es que aprenden a compartir. No, Juan Mecánico, sino que la, las imágenes están. Eh, Carito, please. Give me one minute. La download. Okay. Download. Sorry. No problem. Okay. Lo que pasa. Espérenme, cierro mis conversaciones. Yeah, no please. Sí, 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 ahí. Es que Caro no me pudo enseñar hoy en el trabajo, no le quedó tiempo. Ok, nice. Mardo, no me dijiste, Mardo. En caso, en caso, en caso estemos together en the next course, en el siguiente curso, igual tengo esta, solo que okay. las letras de las canciones ya las analizamos con una estructura gramatical. Eso okay. es lo que hago en, en, en el curso, en el módulo 4, si es que estoy con ustedes. Si no, pues, lo siento, ahí me extraña. Pero el punto es que eh, sacamos fragmentos de canciones y me gusta que digan, ah, este es un adjetivo, ah, este es un adverbio. Entonces, ya estamos trabajando la parte gramatical con las canciones. Entonces, ya como que nuestro cerebro ya capta un poquito más y... Eh, y ya es más consciente de lo que nosotros cantamos, leemos o pronunciamos. Ese es el objetivo para el siguiente curso. Thank you. Thank you, you, Caro. Ok, ok. Ok, eh, solo la primera dos eh, estrofas. Ok. Yeah. Would you know my name? Is I sold you in heaven? Would, I, would it be the same? Is I saw you in heaven, I must be strong and carry on, because I know I don't belong here in heaven. Good, good. Any, any ideas? I love this song. I really love this song. Yeah, no? No idea. Okay. Um, Carito, yes. Tears in heaven. Yeah, tears in heaven. Lágrimas en el cielo. Tears and in heaven. Yes, and the other, the other is the singer. Uh, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Eric. Eric Clapton. Eric Clapton. El mismo que canta yeah. cocaine. Yeah, cocaine. That's it. Eric Clapton is yeah, uh, a really good singer and composer. Yeah, okay. That's it. Thank you. Entonces, en este, en este, en este, eso es lo que les digo que utilizamos en, en el siguiente curso. En este, gramaticalmente, utilizan el condicional uno, que es el would. If you would. O sea, Dice la letra, eh, es una pregunta, dice, ¿sabrías mi nombre si te viera en el cielo? ¿Sería lo mismo si te viera en cielo? Y bien, vemos la tercera estrofa que dice, would you hold my hand? Eh, ¿Tomarías mi mano si te viera en el cielo? Eh, would you help me stand? ¿Me, ayudar, me, ¿Me ayudarías a pararme si te viera en el cielo? Entonces, es una, es un, es una pregunta incondicional, ¿verdad? Harías tal cosa si te viera en el cielo. Entonces, uh, this is a really interesting song. Una canción muy interesante. Creo que te sabes el contexto, Mardo. Sí, me lo sé. ¿Mm? 
Él Ajá. perdió un, no sé si es hija o hijo, o perdió un hijo. Creo, creo que perdió un hijo. Ajá. Ajá. Se le cayó de, de, una, de un edificio. De un edificio. De una casa, pues. uh -huh. Sí, sí, este, al parecer uh, era de glass, era, era de vidrio, creo. Entonces estaban abiertos y el niño fue y, y cayó cayó, uh -huh. ¿verdad? falleció, entonces esta, por eso se, se llama la canción Lágrimas en el Cielo, Tears in Heaven Ajá, hay una parte donde dice eh, one, two, three, four, en el párrafo cuatro dice, I'll find my way encontraré mi camino through night and day, a través de la noche del día because I know I just can't stay here in heaven porque sé que no puedo quedarme aquí en el cielo. Es como que lo sueña, ¿verdad? Como que sueña que está en el cielo y todo. Es bien interesante. So that's a, a beautiful song. Esa canción es especialmente para alguien que ha partido. A very, a very profound. Una canción muy profunda. Yes. I, I recommend you. Le recomiendo esta canción. Se llama así. Se llama Tears in Heaven. Lágrimas en el cielo, se la recomiendo, escúchenla. Es acústica y es, es algo fácil de cantar, la verdad, como es lenta. Uh -huh. Would you know my name? Qué interesante. Right. Well, um, como siempre les digo, las letras de las canciones, la, 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 las párrafos, perdón, los, los estribillos, este, los, los coros, le ayudan a uno a, a cantar. Well, um, We have 12 minutes. Tenemos 12 minutos. Pero no como el de Paulo Coelho. Oh, okay. Here we have this. I would like to know more about uh, your opinions about uh, in, in this question. Creo que ya casi vamos a ir terminando. Um, Luis. Luis y Wendy. Teacher, ya pasé. I'm sorry. No sé por qué no te noté. Ok, eh, Wendy, please, and Wilfredo. Ya pasaste, Wendy. No, no. Sorry. Ok, uh, sorry. okay. in my opinion, I think that people with society problems need, psychology, need psychological help since they don't think, think clearly and for this reason, I disagree. People with this throat need a lot of help. Yes, um, you use a very important word, psychological, right? Uh, recuerden de como hacer uh, psycho es CSS. Uh, how do you say this? Psycho. Ok, psycho es una persona que, 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 que tiene problemas mentales, ok. Psicópata, psycho. Psicópata. Pero, eso se me había ido, ajá. Pero psychological, psycho, psycho. No es psycho como psicología, no. Psicología, psicología, psicólogo. But so it's similar, psychological problems, definitely. Mental problems. Thank you, um, Wendy. Uh, Wilfredo, and then we have Steffi and Evelyn. Uh, they shouldn't make an attempt on her life because it is good who remains on the post life. They must have the right good psychological control. Oh, yes. Psychological, psychological control. Yes, and there are some attempts, some intentos, attempts against, against uh, their lives. So, yes, it usually happens. And we go with Evelyn and Duran. Sorry, teacher. I no honestly prepared. didn't understand. In the, ah, next, okay. in the next question, I participate. Sorry. Okay, okay. thank you for, for your honesty. And Duran, are you there? Well, if Duran is not here, well, we're going to continue with some exercises uh, just to, to, to finish. 
let me check this. Yeah, this JI signal system. Okay. And here we have 10 sentences. I guess you can see them. Okay. What you should or shouldn't uh, do when you go back to school. Okay. ¿Qué deberías y qué no deberías hacer cuando regreses a la escuela? Okay. Um, this is taken from the context of coronavirus. Okay. Remember that we spent two years with that fear. Well, even we have that fear, we have some control activities. Uh, things that we can do, uh, things that are not recommended to do, specifically because we can uh, get the flu, we can get coronavirus because it's still real and it's present in our lives. So you say it should or should not, okay? I'm going to <clears throat> just pronounce some of these words. Cough. Cough, como coffee, pero cough, cough es toser, cough. Okay, sneeze, sneeze, okay, es toser y eh, como, como sonar, como, como sonar, okay, los, como dicen los, 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 los moquillos, throw away, tirarlo, throw away, así como tiraron el corazón de ustedes, throw away, and, okay, eh, tissue es like como servilleta, como algo que tú ya no utilizas. Keep a distance, okay? Frequently. No llores, carito. Frequently. Okay. Hug. Hug es abrazo, como uh, lo, los pampers. Eh, Hoggies. Abracitos. Hoggies significa abracitos. So, hug es abrazar. Okay. Bottle. Bottle. Okay. Yes. You tell me. Uh, should or shouldn't. Okay, carito. What number? Uh, number five. Okay, let's go. You should frequently wash your hands. Yeah, nice, frequently. Good one. Uh, Luis and Evelyn. Okay, teacher number seven. Yeah. You should always sit at the same table. Yes, at the same. Yes. Imagine you have your space. You, you, you already know that you have to clean that space. So you don't have to share it. Good. And Evelyn and Nina. Then Kenny. Number three. You you should keep a distance with your classmates and your teachers. And your teachers, yes. We're talking about present presential uh, classes, of course, mm -hmm. in even in your work. Okay, Kenya and Nina. Hey teacher. Number four. Yeah. You should sit next to a Classmate. Ok, or maybe shouldn't. No debería sentarte a la par de un compañero. Ok, so you should not. Mm -hmm. Al menos no tan cerquita. Thank you. Nina en Elwin. Ok, you should not push your classmates' pens or books. Siempre díganme el número, Nina. Siempre. I, first. Excuse me, excuse me, chair. Six. Ok, ajá. You, you should or shouldn't? Shouldn't, shouldn't. Okay, oh, you your classmates pens or books. Yeah, remember you have your personal items. You have yeah. your personal objects that you can use. So imagine just uh, like touching a pencil that could, you can have like contact with some germs or virus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Uh, Edwin and Carlos. Okay, number. Two. Yep. You you should throw throw away. Throw away. You said tissue in into into to, to the, the bin. To the yeah, bin. the bin is like the trash, the trash can. I come basurero. Okay, so that's it. Good, Carlos. Yep. Number nine. Yes. Go. You, you shouldn't. Play football and basketball with your friends. With your friends, yes. And now you can do it, but it is not so. It is not a good recommendation to do so. You better not. Okay. And thank you, 
Who else? Do we have some other volunteers for this? Wendy, go. Um, eight. Yeah. You shouldn't have hug your friends. Uh, Wendy, what is hug in Spanish? Uh, abrazo. Yes. Okay. Good. You shouldn't hug your friends. Thank you. Gabriel, you got number one or ten. Gabriel, yes. Number one. Yes. You should come and sneeze in your elbow. Elbow. Knees. Mm -hmm. It's like, like this, okay? Yes. If you cough or sneeze, it's better in your elbow. And yes. that's so important to teach to the kids. There are a lot of kids, the children normally they cough like uh, in a free way, como que libremente, y ahí the germs, ahí van los germes. So, so it is better to, to teach the kids, okay? okay? Yes, Carlos? Okay, number 10. You, you should have water of the water. ¿Para quién creen que es esta sugerencia? ¿Para quién podría hacer this, this suggestion? Hay como dos personas que no toman agua acá, definitely. So that's for you, my dear friends. Yes, tomen agua, el agua vida y no agua ardiente. Well, um, we are about to finish. Estamos por terminar, my dear friends. Um, gracias por aguantar el lunes. I know it's difficult Mondays, believe it. Créanlo, no. Ustedes hacen un gran sacrificio, pero ya estamos por terminar. After this, we have uh, seven classes. Solo tenemos siete clases, okay? So, good, good. Ya casi terminamos. Uh, I'm going to check the attendance list. Please, uh, please say hello if you listen to your name. And Mardo, uh, to... Sí, no, no, no has tenido la sesión de diez minutos, ¿verdad, Mardo? Mardo? No, teacher. No, no. Okay, tonight, tonight. That's it. Algo que, que siento muy positivo es que muchas de las indicaciones, si se dan cuenta, las digo en inglés y me captan. Eh, sé que hay algunos casos, there are some cases in which it's kind of difficult or mm, it is like, eh, sí, como que tienen dudas. Pero en su mayoría, si se dan cuenta, ya las clases son más a, totalmente a conversión desde el curso pasado. O sea, vamos más y más. Entonces, I like that. Me gusta bastante eso. Nice. Están respondiendo muy bien. en let's see. Uh, Carlos, hi there. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carito. I'm here, teacher. You are there. Uh, okay, we don't have Edwin. Hi, teacher. Uh, good. Steffi, ya no se conectó. And Evelyn. I'm here, teacher. Good. Gabriel. Hello, teacher. Okay, Duran, ya no se conectó. Uh, Yvette. Present, teacher. Thank you. Present, teacher. Good. Kenya. Okay, uh, Luis. Present teacher. Okay, Mardo. Present teacher. Oscar, creo que no se conectó. Nina. Present teacher. Good, Wilfredo. Claudia. And Present teacher. Good. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, my Present dear friends. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Así si lo veo mañana. Mañana sí, okay. So, Good evening. Okay, bye-bye. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Bye. Bye bye, my friends. Rest, descansen, pero no en paz, solo descansen. Bye. Ok, Mardo, this is going to be uh, brief. Va a ser breve esto. Ok, so you tell me, uh, do you have any topic that you want to, to reinforce? reforzar algún tema, alguna estructura gramatical, vocabulario, una conversación específica. Sí, cómo usar el good, el good y el ah, true. Claro, claro, ahorita, ahorita vamos a eso. Ok, prácticamente es así, mira. Tenemos que el, el would, tenemos el cool y tenemos el show. Ok. En el caso del wood, lo utilizamos y fíjate que 
No parecen, pero sí confunde un poquito. Puede confundir un poco por el hecho de que eh, son condicionales. Se le llama condicionales. Vaya. El would hace... Los tres son condicionales. Exacto, exacto. Hace que los verbos terminen en ia. Por ejemplo... Um, I would like to eat pizza. Me gustaría comer pizza. ¿Ok? Um, ¿Qué otro podría ser? I would. Puede ser con like, Mardo. O puede ser con otro verbo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A ver. I would. Uh, I would. Puede ser like. Uh -huh. I would like to read a book. Yes. Entonces, eh, el, ver, eh, el auxiliar would hace que el verbo like termine en ia en español. Me gustaría, ¿verdad? I mm -hmm. would uh, buy my car mm -hmm. um, in that company. Compraría yeah. mi carro en esa compañía. Ya. Compraría, compraría. Esa es la función del would, ¿ok? Ok. Ahora tenemos el could. En el caso del could, esto significa podría, ¿ok? Y también es como el pasado de can, o sea, pude. Can es poder, digámoslo así. Entonces, um, para preguntas se utiliza más que todo el could. Por ejemplo, could you tell me your, your name? Puedes decirme tu nombre. ¿Ok? ¿Qué otra pregunta podríamos hacer? Could, así con you puede ser. Could you um, tell me the address? Tell me. The address. Entonces puedes decirme eso, ¿verdad? Ahora, también podemos utilizar el could you en lugar de tell. Puede ser otro verbo. Por ejemplo, could you come early tomorrow? Podrías uh -huh. venir mañana temprano. ¿Cómo uh -huh. puedo decir podrías trabajar el sábado? Va, podrías trabajar el domingo. ¿Cómo lo preguntarías? Could you work on Saturday or on Sunday? Mm -hmm. On Sunday? Could you work on Sunday? Imagine your boss asks you that. Imagínate tu jefe te pregunta, could you work on Saturday on Sunday? Podrías trabajar el domingo? And you, mm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I have some other plans. Bueno, normalmente a veces uno trabaja, pero the point is this. Would ¿Verdad? Hace esto que hace que terminen y a los verbos el could a, significa podría. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Entonces, uh, o oh, puedes decir esto. My brother could swim when he was five. Mi hermano podía, podía, el pasado de Ken, nadar cuando él tenía cinco. Mi hermano podía nadar cuando él tenía cinco. ¿Ok? Así que pues esa es prácticamente eh, el uso de, de, del could acá. Ahora, el should. ¿Qué significa el should? El should es para consejos, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. es deberías. Debería. Uh -huh. Si te das cuenta, todo termina en ia. Todo termina en sí. ia. Debería. Ok. Por eso es que hoy estamos dando consejos, ¿verdad? Yeah. You should uh, Come early. Tú deberías venir temprano. You should come early to work. Ok. ¿Qué otro? Okay. ¿Qué otra? Uh, another sentence that maybe we can say. Giving advice. Dando sugerencia. Consejo. You should um, Get up. 
A qué horas? At 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 six o'clock. Okay. Ok, you should get up at 6 o'clock, ok. Entonces, básicamente tenemos tres auxiliares. Should, tenemos could y tenemos, perdón, would, should y could. En ninguna se pronuncia la O, Mar. ¿Ve? Would, could, should. Y tampoco mm -hmm. se pronuncia la L, ni en would, ni en could, ni en should. ¿Sí? Okay, Tienen esa okay. característica. Ahora, Would significa, uh, ter, tiene, sí, esa es la función principal. Hace que los verbos con los que utilices terminen en ia. Esa es la, ahora, yeah. could significa podría. ¿Ok? Eh, mm -hmm. Entonces, como significa podría, también significa el pasado del can. Es eh, como pude o podías. Pude o podíamos, ya, como en esta oración. Y el should es el deberías, sugerencia. Ese es para consejos. Sugerencias, consejos, ya, yeah, you should. Hoy sí, Mardo. Sí. Thank you, teacher. Ok, Estamos. welcome. Ya viste está que claro. no está tan difícil, ¿verdad? Está bastante práctico, ¿ok? So sí, ya viendo los, los tres juntos ya, ya es más fácil diferenciarlo. Sí, sí, yo sé que al inicio cuesta un poquito, ¿verdad? Diferenciarlos, pero ya viéndolos así juntos como que... Ah. Ya no está tan difícil como yo, como yo creía, ¿verdad? Así que, este, qué bueno, Mardo, porque eso lo, lo van a ver después en el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Siempre se va a seguir okay. utilizando, no tanto estudiarlo, sino que utilizando. Así que, pues, eso sería, ¿verdad, Mardo? Gracias. Eh, so, Gracias. see you tomorrow, my friend. Descansa. Have rest. Thank you. Okay? Okay. Good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night.